Atheists in Foxholes So there's a very common saying among theists that goes, there are no atheists in foxholes. Essentially, it means that when the bullets start flying, or the plane starts crashing, or in other words, when the shit hits the fan, everyone is praying to God to save them. The fact of the matter is, however, that there is no amount of prayer that will ever stop the bullet, or the plane, or the shit. You can pray all you want, but at the end of the day, it's the laws of physics that determine your fate. As Anne in Gaylor famously said, nothing fails like prayer. But I kind of like the reverse of that a little bit more, though. I say prayer fails like nothing, because in praying, you are effectively doing nothing. But back to the original saying, that there are no atheists in foxholes. That saying is just objectively not true. I was a Marine for four years, albeit just a paper pusher who saw no real action, but a Marine nonetheless, and I can tell you that without a doubt there were and still are atheists in foxholes. I undoubtedly served with some, and those are the men and women that I would have wanted by my side in a firefight. Because when the going gets tough, the tough get going. What they don't do is fall on their knees in prayer. They actually do something to try to make it out of the situation alive. They rely on themselves and the men and women to their left and right, not imaginary gods. Now, there are people who will say that since I was never in that situation that I don't know how I would react, but I actually do. I've been in situations where I thought I was going to die, was almost certain that I was already dead, and not once did a god cross my mind. The only thing that I ever thought about was my family and survival. All I wanted was to survive so that I could see my family again. I didn't pray, I didn't plead, I didn't beg. I did what I had to do to get out of the situation. I took action. So in reality, sayings like this are really just empty ego stroking. They only serve to reinforce the believer's delusion that gods and prayer actually do something and that everyone secretly believes the same nonsense that they do. We're all sick of being told that deep down we secretly believe in a god. We don't, and until sufficient evidence is provided, we won't. So y'all can take your meaningless platitudes and walk on. We aren't convinced by the poor excuses for evidence that y'all give, and we sure aren't going to be convinced by your empty statements. So there are atheists in foxholes, there are atheists in plane crashes, and there are atheists when shit sprays the walls. Y'all can sit there and come up with all the shallow cliches that you want, but it won't make your ancient mythology any more believable or true than it is. Which is not at all.